hey hello friends welcome to my channel sapsd and abap league support i was not able to publish any videos last few days uh, i had a bad cold and due to that i have a very sore throat and now also you can uh, uh, feel that uh, some difference in my voice uh, due to that sore throat only it will be all right in one or two days okay so today we will see how to debug workflows so i received so many comments in our channel about this request only how to debug any workflows related issues first of all let's see in which cases workflow can be triggered so for example an output okay so an output can be triggered through workflow also okay for example there is an output called zb zb a2 something a1 or a2 this will be triggered okay this will be triggered whenever delivery document is created and it is an v1 application output type and it will be assigned under sales document level only okay but it will be triggered during save of delivery only this one scenario and uh, in some other cases same output can be triggered during save of an order also but most most of the times we will be using the output determination based on the condition records only but still through the workflow events through workflow events also we can achieve this right delivery creation point of the time assigning output in the order level or in the order level directly itself assigning one order output even though there is no condition records maintained and uh, the third way is that approving the pu request and correct approval process so like this we have so many workflow scenarios are available and whenever we get an issue saying that uh, the workflow not trigger properly or it triggered but it didn't create any transaction like output not triggered there is a bug in the code so many reasons might be there to debug that particular workflow methods and events how can we debug that we know that if you want to debug anything we will simply add slash h to start the debugger but these workflows will start in the update mode only and the username here for the workflows are okay in case of ecc systems the user id will be wf batch in case of ecc the username will be wf batch whereas in case of s4 hana it will be sap underscore w f40 so whenever any transaction getting created suppose we are creating an order order has been saved and if we open the order and see we can see that when the order was created and who created that order the date time everything will see there right the username also our user id only the order created by our user id only and the output also assigned by our user id only whenever that output is assigned through standard condition records through condition records any output assigned to the order delivery or invoice in those cases we see our id only our user id only in the output section also 
whereas in case of in a workflow events doing some activity in the background that point of time the user id will be getting changed automatically in the background itself in the standard sap system itself the user id will get changed automatically in case of ecc system the w batch will be determined whereas in s4ana it will be sap underscore wfrt so due to this reason only even though in the update mode the breakpoint won't stop because that session breakpoint or external breakpoint will be active for that user only the current user who is logged into the system to debug the issues of other user for example in this case wf batch and sap wf are getting triggered right so if you want to debug with this id means we need to do some changes in that sap system so we will do that now once we do that then only the breakpoint will stop or else it won't stop okay let me log into system fine so let's go to sc38 or uh, we can use the sc80 also okay i'm going to sc38 only now go to the more and uh, utilities and here you see settings so under app editor you have a one window called a tab called debugging i see here the debugger will work for the user thiru only here but as i said whenever the workflow triggers in case of vcc it will be wf batch and in case of ns4 hana it will be sap underscore wfrt so we should debug it with user id with this user id only that's why we need to update this either sf depending on system we should update a wf batch or sap underscore wfrt update this and save it then you can trigger that workflow for example it's an issue with the order output means try to save that order or try to save the delivery then that uh, program will trigger so before doing the transaction saving the order or delivery let's add one breakpoint in that uh, program level then try to do the transaction that point of time this will be hit remember that these workflows will trigger the update mode only not the save mode during update mode only most of the times it will be triggering in the update mode only and uh, that point of time you can debug and understand what went wrong and analyze the code further this is simply about this video we can uh, catch up in the next video thank you friends bye for now